Hello, Dodgen 7th grade band. Today we're going to be working on the Concert C major scale. For this, the first thing you need is your scale sheet. It should be in your band folder. If you don't have your band folder with you, you go to the content library of the OneNote class notebook. You will also need a pencil and, if possible, your instrument. Now, let's take a look at the music. All right, this is exactly what the clarinet and trumpet looks like. Tenor is a little different, but pay attention. It's all similar in the end. The first thing you always want to look at is the key signature. This has two sharps, F sharp and also C sharp. We'll go over that for each instrument very soon. Scales are always notes in alphabetical order. So we have D, E, F sharp, G, a, B, C sharp, D. Make sure you remember that this B is natural. We see a lot of B flats in band, but that B is natural. The C is sharp. Now tenors, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, hey, I have twice as many notes. You do, okay? Because it's really the same fingerings until you get to the very, very, very top. There's one note that has a different fingering, that's that very high D. Okay, let's all together say the letter names in rhythm. Here we go. Let's just do it nice and slow, about two beats per note. Ready? Note names with sharps go. D, E, F sharp, G, A, B, C sharp, D. Let's skip over to the arpeggio. D, F sharp, A, D, A, F sharp, D. Okay. Next, let's play the scale, go over a few pointers for each, each instrument, and then play it again. I'm going to start off by making sure my reed is on here nice and straight. Trumpets, you don't have a reed. Make sure it's wet and ready to go. Whatever you play, make sure you're sitting up with a great posture and that perfect hand position, just like we described when you started in sixth grade. Here we go at a nice relaxed tempo. Ready? <laughs> Make sure on the top few notes, let's start with the A. We have A, B, second valve, C sharp first and second again, then high D first. A, B, C sharp, D. And make sure that the sound matches what we just played a moment ago. It goes up like a scale. You don't want to get the sound of A, B, A. You want the sound of A, B, C sharp. It's the same fingering, but it goes a little bit higher. Clarinets. We have to cross the break and do two pinkies in a row. Your rule is you always want to alternate pinkies. So most clarinet players, we're going to do them in this order. They do the B with their left pinky here, then the C sharp with their right pinky here. B, C sharp, B, C sharp. Okay? That's what I'm going to recommend. Um, it is possible to do the B here and the C-sharp there, but most clarinet players do this one, okay? That's what I did when I played it a moment ago. Again, tenors, I hear you complaining already how you have that second octave. It's okay. Um, the notes are all really familiar. C-sharp, as you guys know, is just no fingers down, C-sharp. The second octave of the scale is the same as the first. You just have your octave key down. There's one fingering that is different. That's the high D you have this cluster of three keys right here on your saxophone. The D key is this one. Okay, here's your thumb, thumb rest. The next one over, that's your D key. And you want to hit that with sort of the, the spot where your finger attaches to your hand. So right there. 
That's how you hit your high D. Okay, let's play the scale two more times. We're going to do it once in the one octave pattern, just like the clarinets and trumpets have, and then we'll do it one more time in the two octave pattern that the tenor saxes have. Here we go. One octave version. Ready? two octave version the tenors have. Clarinets, you could add a second octave onto this. Trumpets, not recommended. Here we go. Two octaves. One, two, ready. <laughs> get your assignment submitted correctly. We're going to be collecting this assignment in one of two ways. We have some Zoom meetings set up. The schedule will be posted on Edmodo and on the band website. You can play it live for us then. The other option is using the OneNote notebook. There is literally a record button, record audio. So you'll get into your OneNote notebook, you'll go to the record your, your name, and there's a recording tab. And there's, you go to the insert section, there's literally a record button. You can just play it right there, it's recorded, it goes right to us with no, no hassle at all. So I hope to see a bunch of you at our Zoom meetings this week, and also hear a bunch of recordings on OneNote. Everybody, happy practicing, hope to see you real soon.